Hi everyone, it's Georgia from De Beauty Art Workshops here and today we are making this gorgeous pom-pom garland out of things that you can find in your home and a little bit of wool. Okay, so this pom-pom garland is super, super easy and it's made from a few base things and a little bit of wool and it's so versatile. You can use these pom-poms to make anything pom-pom related you like. We've got a garland here, but you can just make them into pom-poms. You could make a lovely scarf, very, very fashionable, whatever you want to do with your pom-poms. So let's head over, look at the materials that we need for this make and get started. This make, I'm sure you'll be pleased to know, has very few materials required. So you can make this gorgeous pom-pom garland with barely anything. And most of these things you'll have lying around your house. First of all, we're going to need ourselves a fork. Now, I imagine you are going to have one of these somewhere. So our first item is a fork. You're then going to need yourself a pair of scissors. You want ones that are fairly sharp, otherwise you're gonna have to go nice and slow when we are cutting our pom-poms. So, a fork, a pair of scissors, a needle. This is a children's needle, but you can use a normal needle, but you need one with an eye big enough to fit your wool or your thread for when we thread our pom-poms onto our garland. And you're going to need wool. I've got a few different types of wool here, all pastel kinds, but whatever you have is going to work. I'm sure we can make do, make do with what we've got. The other thing that you can use if you would like is some string. This is used instead of wool as the base for our garland. It just makes things a little bit more sturdy, but if you don't have this, you can use wool. Finally, again, this is not an item that you must have, but I used on the end of my garland a wooden macrame hoop on each end to be able to hang it. But again, you can just tie your garland to whatever you're going to be affixing it to. So for your base things, you need a fork, a pair of scissors, a needle, and some wool. But if you want to add some additions, you can add string and some macrame hoops. Let's get making. I'm going to begin by showing you how to make a single colour wool pom-pom. This is a graduated multicoloured wool, but you can do this with a plain coloured wool as well. So for this part and for all of the pom-poms, all you're going to need is your wool, your scissors and your fork. Then the needle comes into play a little bit later. To make your pom-poms, you want to take a strand of your wool about 15 centimetres long and you're going to snip this off. This is what we're going to use to tie our pom-pom at the end of our wrapping. Then if you look at your fork, oh I made you wobble a little bit there, if you look at your fork you've got three gaps. You want to put that piece of wool in the centre of those three gaps and keep hold of it on the handle of your fork. This is going to allow us to tie the pom-pom together at the end. You then need to find the end of your wool hold it down and we're going to wrap it around the fork several times. You want to do this fairly tightly as this is what it's going to make your pom-pom nice and fluffy. It's easier if you've already pulled out a strand of wool to make it a little bit easier to wrap around. But you want nice fluffy pom-pom so we're going to wrap this round plenty of times. Okay, once you have something that looks a little bit like this, we're going to snip our wool off. To make more dense pom-poms, you're going to wrap your wool around more times. It's a little bit of an experimental thing, but you can make however you like. So, with this amount of wool, our pom-poms will be quite fluffy, but not too dense. We're then going to take this strand that we tied earlier, pop our fork down, and as tightly as we can, tie a double knot in this strand. You'll end up with a bit of a bow shape in your pom-pom. Do you see? Just like that. Now I'm going to tie another 
knot in here just to make sure it's nice and tight like that and now we're going to cut our pom-poms to cut your pom-poms you're going to take your large sharp pair of scissors and slide your pom-pom off the edge of your fork just like that you're then going to snip along this folded side so slot your scissors under the gap between the layers of pom-poms and snip away you might want to just have a rifle around to double check that you've not got any layers you've not snipped so once you've cut all your layers we can fluff out our pom-pom give it a trim and you've made your first pom-pom now oh i've lost some strands there that's all right don't worry about that now you've got your pom-pom you want to give it a bit of a shake shake it up fluff it up so it's nice and fluffy and now we're going to give it a bit of a haircut to make sure it's the same length the whole way around I have got a big bowl of my pom-pom scraps that I trim them into and I save these extra bits for stuffing. It seems a little bit wasteful to trim off all this extra wool and not use it. So try and store it and think of something that you can use it for as well. Once you've made a series of pom-poms like this, it is time, oh they're running away, it is time to attach them to your garland. So to do that you want to measure your string or your wool to the length of thing, whatever it may be, that you want to hang your garland on. So mine was made for a window so I hung it against the window and gave it a little bit of slack so it wasn't too taut. Once you've cut your string we're then going to begin sewing our pom-poms on so I'm going to grab one that I started making earlier so I can show you how to sew them on this is a really really easy part of the pom-pom making process so don't worry about this once you've got your garland your string and your needle you want to thread your needle on your string this may take a little bit of time if you've got a smaller needle than me though so just be patient give it a go once you've got your pom-poms uh, and your string prepared, you're going to take a pom-pom, slide it onto the needle, push it down the string until it meets the end. We're going to continue to do that until all of your pom-poms are on your string. Okay, that is all my pom-poms on my garland, so I'm now going to tie my string off. If you don't have anything to tie it to like a macrame hoop like I do, then just tie a knot in the end of your string to stop your pom-poms falling on the end. All you need to do is a simple double knot and then trim off the excess. But if you've got a macrame hoop, then just tie that on with a double knot too, trim the excess and you are ready to hang your macrame, macrame? You are ready to hang your pom-pom up in a window, on a bookshelf, wherever you would like to display it. You're gonna have a much easier time with this than me because I'm sure you've not got silly nails like me. But now I've got my pom-pom string tied, I can snip off the end and I've got a gorgeous pom-pom garland to hang wherever I like. Let's have a look how it looks up and I'll see you in a second. enjoyed making this a gorgeous pom-pom garland or scarf as it is now being represented with me today. If you make one please show me by tagging at Debureyart and you can follow me on social media again it's all at Debureyart to see other amazing makes that we're making and the things that people make inspired by these videos. Hit the like button down below and please share this and I will see you later. Get creating!